hi everyone welcome to this video and in this video i'm going to show you how to remove all excel file password for any type it can be excel workbook can be a vba excel sheet whatever all what you need to do is watch this video up to the end but in case you want a specific one please go down to the description i've put the timestamps you click on a particular one that you may be interested so without further ado let's get started so we're going to start with a worksheet currently i don't have any password if i go to review here it's not there so we're going to set it but before you set i must show you how you set it one uh, you must go home and click on the drop down arrow and um, font check protection you see all this is locked if you put a password here it's going to lock everything so what you have to do first is select everything Control a and come to this protection and uncheck this then you se you select specific areas that you want to lock on the amount then i come to this and check that now i've already selected those areas i'm going to review protect ah so we we'll finished to lock that file now if you come to this and you try to double click and edit this it won't work but there it works so what you're going to do now is going to close this and before you start removing the password please make a copy just in case you didn't follow the procedures properly and after making a copy you go ahead and remove the extension and put it as zip so this works on all extensions even if it is one without macros so after that you're going to extract this right click extract and the extracted file you're going to xl and inside this let me minimize this you're going to worksheets and i'm going to move this and i'm going to open i'm going to open this worksheet to make sure that we're sure of the worksheet we're going to work on and if you look at this if you look at this this worksheet has two worksheets one two now our protection is on worksheet one so we're going to work on worksheet one since worksheet two may not be having any password so this worksheet one you're going to right click and you open with any editor i always like vs code but you can use any notepad also works let me select vs code if you don't have just use notepad now i have it here what i'm going to do is i'm going to control f then i'm going to say protection you see when you come down here there is what says sheet protection we're going to highlight all this area up to where this opening tag you see this like less than arrow we're going to highlight all of it up to where it closes so it removes all this area up to here now there are two ways one you're just going to cut off or delete it or you can also just change this sheet to zero and also you're going to change object to zero you can also change the scenario to zero you'll be able to unlock because one activates it and the other one uh, make sure the it's removed or it's deactivated so for this case i'm just going to delete and i'm going to save it after that you're going to close your editor then we're going to move back going back up to where these four files are and you're going to click share and say and click zip let me just say no password converter and i press ok once that is done you can rename it and remove the zip and put it as what remove it and put x l s m and put it back to the normal extension it had before and once that is done i'm going to open it it's already open here i'm going to open this one now and uh, you come to this you enable the macros and when you come to the review you see our sheet is now open so that is what you do with the sheet so once we're done with the sheet let's go to the workbook workbook is not different with the sheet now the only difference here is just where we're going to select so just going to make a copy as well now from this we're going to open and enable the macros because i have macros in case you don't have macros please don't mind i'm going to help you so you can see this one is auto blocked so what you have to do is if you're using office 365 or any 
advanced office there is a protection what you do you have to right click and go to properties and come down here security and you unblock because this file you probably downloaded from another site or you bought it and it's actually locked because of the security reason so you're going to uncheck this and apply and okay so you're going to open this and enable the macros after that you're going to now do your thing so we're going to set a password for our workbook so i'm going to click this and put the password and also this now after this you're going to save it and let's check if this has worked now you see i cannot be able to add even if i want to delete this i cannot edit delete anything from this workbook now we're going to remove this password using the zip method so first is uh, as we have already made a copy so we're going to just remove the extension and change it to zip after changing to zip just like the other procedure you're going to extract to the same folder then after extracting go to xl and you can see here this one doesn't have a folder again just come to workbook so you're going to right click on it and open with anything you can use notepad but i like vs code because it changes the colors and i'm able to understand when i'm highlighting so now we're going to still going to control f then you're going to type workbook protection even if you put workbook pro you're going to click on it so you see as i was typing uh this already highlights it so i'm just going to um highlight all this area this time i'm not going to delete it i'm going to move up to where it ends as you can see it's here so i'm just going to change this lock structure to one and i'm going to change this to zero after that i'm going to save and close and as you can see these are the files i'm going to move back and highlight all this go to share and zip and you put there uh no password and you're going to put back here as x l s m and you're going to press enter and you save it so as if you open this now and we're going to check this our worksheet is open you can even delete and even if i come to review it's now unlocked so that's quickly what you do with the workbook so we're done with the workbook now we're going to look at the read only file and remember as i said before you do anything if you're using the latest windows just right click properties and make sure this is unblocked so after that you're going to open it we first want to set this to read only because it's open so what you do is going to file and going to save as and from here you're going to click more options and uh, tools general options i'm going to modify down password modify is then you say okay we're going to put the same password and click okay save and replace so we're going to close this and open now you see this is a read only file and we can't be able to access in case we don't have a password but if we open like this we can read but we cannot be able to modify anything if there any modification will require you to save it as a different file so what you got to do is also the same thing remove the or first make a copy and paste it now after that we're going to remove the extension and put it as zip so after that you're going to say yes and extract it to the same location from here we're going to open excel and here we have the workbook open with your preferred text editor uh, you can always use notepad it's very simplified me i do programming that's why i like uh, vs code from here i'm going to just search for going to control f and type in file sharing now as i was typing i was able to see already from here so what i'm going to do is just going to highlight where this starts from up to where the closing tag is you you see this is a closing tag always if you don't know even programming please today know this anything like a uh, slash and the uh, greater than sign is a closing tag and this is the opening tag. so you're going to highlight all this up to where it closes we're going to delete it after that you're going to control s or you can go to file and save after that you're going to close it and after that we go back 
and highlight all this and go to share and zip it give it a name that no password read only and press enter now i'm going to remove this i'm going to call this x l s m i'm going to press enter we're back to normal when you open this now it's automatically opening it doesn't require you to enter any password so that is what you're going to do with the read only files welcome back and and now in this part we're going to look at the vba project this is completely different from the other so we're going to make a copy and save it there and before that let's see if we can access our vba project enable this remember as i said you make sure if you're using the current windows and this the file is not from your computer make sure you go to properties and unblock this usually works with office 365 and if you don't do this you're going to face challenges so unblock and apply okay now after that you're going to let's open and see if our vba code can be accessed go to developer and go to visual basic you see i can access my vba thing now let's first block this so i'm going to click on this go to tools vba project properties protection and lock for viewing and i put my simple password also the simple password here good so i've locked this i'm going to close this and save it now if i open this project and uh, move to uh, developer and vba when i try to access no i can't access now let's say we have forgotten this password so what we're going to do is going to close this and we're going to since we already have a copy we're going to change this to zip after that we're going to click that and once we've changed to zip we're going to extract the same folder and open it come to xl now as you see this is a vba project you're going to right click and open with please make sure it's hex editor don't use any other program use hex editor which is more reliable in case there's any other but i haven't researched yet so i'm going to open it and as you can see here you don't need to understand all this code as it is what you only need to do is just go and search and find then you're going to type dpb and search for it as you can see here it shows some code and here there's dpb Sometimes maybe your computer may not show because it's small. You may it, you, it may be covered like this. But what you just have to do is come to this and move it so that you're able to see this. But now, what if you're going to change from here? You're going to highlight it. Don't backspace because it won't move. Highlight and change to any letter. What if you're going to change? Maybe let's say G and you're going to move to file and save. After that, you're going to close this and... Um, now make sure you're in these four files here the one you extracted make sure you need and after that you're going to share leave alone come to share and zip it give it the name that uh, entry form no password so i'm going to save it after that you're going to remove the zip and put back to the normal extension which is x l s m I'm going to press enter and save it now if i open this file it pops up this just say yes and also this just ignore and say yes enable macros and also accept this and continue but now our code is not yet viewable if you come to this and check it pops up this just say okay keep saying okay until it pops up this and also if you come to this you still can't access the code so what you have to do is go to tools VBA project and unlock it from protection and unlock from viewing and after that you're going to save it and now be careful on this part go to close this and also close this and save so it's going to pop up for you to choose a new directory but I don't want just to change I can just replace it and replace and once that is that I close open it now and as you can see if I go to view you see my code is now viewable so that is basically what you have to do with a vba project in case you find challenges please use the email in the desk in the about us section we'll be able to support you in case you face bigger challenges now the last thing that we need is this let me show you something briefly now we're going to lock this file from opening so we're going to save it save us and 
more options and general and we're going to set set the password for opening and save it replace now this file does not have read read only one thing it just pops up this and this particular type of saving it's a more pro secure way of excel file at the moment i'm still doing research and haven't found a way to remove this password yet unless you know the password is so when you can come to this and when you want to remove you come to this file and info and you click on this and click protect and you're just going to unprotect it after putting the, the password so that is basically what you do and uh, in case of any challenges please let me know if this video has helped you uh, kindly subscribe share the video and uh, you can support me by clicking on the thanks button if there is part which you really loved in this video please there is a support button you click on these three dots then you click on thanks and you give any amount that you like so thank you very much for watching i wish you all the best